Hi! This video has been an absolute nightmare so far. I already recorded the entire thing yesterday and I, I had to scrap it because the gameplay didn't record right. If someone can tell me why every time I try and record via OBS it looks like this, that would be awesome! Oh man, and I'm so upset I have to do it again because I found some lady that held me up at gunpoint and I shot her because I didn't want to give her bandages and then it turned out her gun was broken so she was pointing an unloaded broken gun at me and then I felt awful about that for like the rest of the day. Were well, you not actually armed? What have I done? I'm a monster. Then there was another lady who needed medicine for her kid but I didn't have any so I went and searched an abandoned house, it risked my life and I found her kid medicine and I felt like a hero which made up for the terrible thing I did. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You just saved us. Oh, what are you giving me? And then I got attacked by like a horde of zombies because it became night and they were flooding down the streets and I lost my shotgun and all the kerfuffle of everything. It was so intense and amazing. I managed to get away dead. No! <laughs> I ran out Really, I'm good. Don't drop my shotgun. Don't drop my shotgun. I need my shotgun. And it was it was also amazing. And I had so much fun. But again, you can you can already see the gameplay looked horrible. Now, all right, here's I'm gonna do it all again. We're gonna dive back into the game and go on another adventure. But uh, Walking Dead: Saints and Sinners. I'm actually a huge fan of Walking Dead. A lot of you know this already. So as soon as I saw, like before this, before the sponsor, like months ago, when I saw Walking Dead: Saints and Sinners was coming out, which looked like it was set in the Telltale universe, but it was more gory. It was intense, and obviously you could be a part of the game. You could be in it in VR. I was all down. And then Walking Dead Saints and Sinners themselves approached me and they said, hey, we're bringing our game to PlayStation and VR. We know that you've done a bunch of PSVR videos before. Would you like to check out the game, maybe review it? And I said, I'll do you one better. I will play the game in a video as long as you let me use my oculus i just love my oculus way too much <laughs> but the game is out on playstation vr as of yesterday when you're watching it it's out right now so check the link down below in the description if you want to buy the game play the game enjoy the game it is a lot of fun i think i'm good fingers crossed it works this time oh my gosh hit like on the video then it, then it will definitely work i don't i don't know the logic behind that but just do it this is my giant chest of things I find out on my adventures. So if I pull my backpack off, you can see the things I have that I'll be taking out on this adventure. I don't need a lighter, so we can scrap that for materials. All right, and then we decide out of the things I've saved from previous adventures, what I want to take on this journey. So I'm going to take some medicine, because I forgot that last time. Uh, but I got food, a uh, spare stabby thing if I need it. Actually, it's about to break. It's got like barely any durability left. That should be good. Some food, some medicine. Then we get to pick from my my wall of guns, which is looking very barren because I lost my shotgun because I'm an idiot. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> we live in a graveyard. Uh, before we go, trust me, we're gonna want to make a knife. Knife. Actually, I'm gonna make another one. Two knives, and then we can make some bullets. Okay, so you know how I scrapped that thing earlier in there? That's how you build these parts, or how you get these parts by scrapping things. Oh, bullets go in my little front pouch. Don't ask me about the front pouch. <laughs> Actually, we can upgrade this one already. Let's upgrade this workstation. And now we can make- <gasps> Oh, I can be like Negan! Yes! Okay, I've never actually had one of these. Oh, <laughs> looks like this second part might not be as bad as I thought. <laughs> I think there's an easy way to to grab. Oh, <gasps> my shotgun! I thought I lost my shotgun. <laughs> I didn't lose it. I oh sorry, that was a whole thing yesterday. You missed it, but <laughs> I'm really happy I still have that. I can make a bow and arrow. Oh yes, I want to make a bow. How do I make it? Adhesives and wood scraps. Okay, so while we're out, we have to look for adhesives and wood scraps. Do I have everything? My gun? Yes. My knife? Yes. All right, good. Um, I haven't been to the Rampart or the Bastion yet. 
So let's go Bastion. I took you guys through a whole course yesterday on how to kill a zombie. Guess I'll have to show you again. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's not usually so doom and gloomy. I don't like this. I can barely see through the fog. Oh no. Here's the thing. Physics play a big part. You really have to drive it into their skull is essentially the whole thing. You can dink him. <laughs> dink, dink. And it's not gonna do anything, right? You can caress him. <laughs> if you just do it a little bit, he'll get stabbed a little bit. You do it a lot bit, <laughs> yank it out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Not good. <laughs> not good, I don't wanna die already. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened to this gun? Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I can't believe I almost died already. We're like 10 seconds in. You might think, all right, just a shoe, but you see adhesives, I, oh my gosh. That's what we need. So we'll put that in the backpack. All right, let me deal with this guy. It's a good thing we got two knives. This one's gonna break already. Really? This place is littered with zombies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What do you want? My bandages? Okay. All right. Okay. All right, you got it. You got it. You got it. You can't you use your stuff. Not what I asked for. Uh-oh. Please. Ah! Oh, what a good timing for a zombie. All right. Let's go. <laughs> ah! I've never Oh my gosh, I feel sick. <laughs> I've never killed an NPC with a knife. I was gonna shoot her. Oh, I'll take my bandages back. <laughs> Why won't you work? <sighs> See? It works fine. Oh, that was so gross. Oh, bleh. What's this? Okay, that's nothing right now. Oh! <laughs> please be open, please be open, please be open. Sorry, sorry! Oh. Oh my gosh, terrifying. Let's take this clock. What's in the fridge? Any Pop-Tarts? What is that? Jerky? Oh, this house must have been where survivors held out or something. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That scared the crap out of me. I am... Oh! I just... I need a second here. Did I forget to mention I'm a big baby in these games? You know what? I might just- Well, maybe if someone hadn't a burst through the door like the Kool-Aid man, oh, I wouldn't yeah. be so exposed in here. Why is there so many zombies here? <gasps> Are you now loud? <laughs> nah, it's fine. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> now. Uh, or you're gonna have a few bullet wounds okay. to contend with. Okay. Understand? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not good for me. Oh, the renegade! I'm sorry. Hey, look, it's me. I'll take that. Oh, we made it just in time. Oh, sorry. That happens all the time. Successful run, actually. I feel pretty good about that. We didn't find any medicine, and I used the medicine I had, but I think we found enough stuff to upgrade one of my benches. Oh, we made it! All right, so you go in here, you go to this thing. Broken revolver, we can scrap that. We get all those pieces. Gotta shoot. Anything is scrappable. Medical tape. Book. Who needs to read them? All right, let's see what we can upgrade. No, I want to make the boat! How close am I? Wood scraps! Oh, I totally could have grabbed wood. All right, well, we'll make another knife. Now we'll go to sleep. We'll go to sleepies. I'm getting so sweaty. I gotta take this. Hi. Oh, new day in this cesspit. Oh! Oh! I'm so dumb. Okay, I forgot about this whole notebook that has the map. I didn't read these recipes for things. I got 38 shots for the revolver. Switch these out. And I have to remember this time, I have a freaking spike bat. I don't know where we went last time. Let's try the ward. I think that's where we were supposed to be headed anyway. I think that's the, the mission I've had this whole time. I've just been messing around. Now that it's not so doom and gloomy, I really love 
how much it feels like I'm in the Walking Dead Telltale game. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but this is what it looks like. Does anyone else do that where you just go around kind of perving on graphics? <laughs> I want to try the revolver, but oh yeah, I forgot about my bed. <laughs> is that guy tied to the... Oh, he's pinned. Oh, I like that you can grab it wherever you feel comfortable. Batter up! Oh, <laughs> oh I am Negan. <laughs> oh, gross. Ew. <laughs> I should probably stop that. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. Oh. Oh, I don't like the echo. Echo. Please don't eat me. Oh, what? Hello. Come out, come out. Bring out your dad. <laughs> Oh, this is- I don't want to hit two. Oh, he's- He's freaking- He's- Fuck! Ah! This took his freaking head off. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> I am never going- Please never break. It's just so- Oh, no. It's breaking. I tried to throw the axe. Are you alive or- I don't like the way you're kind of moving. <laughs> Gosh, I keep missing. Don't break. No! Ah! <gasps> Alright, let's just go home. <laughs> I don't need to be out anymore. Apparently everything is breaking and I'm just failing. I tell you what, I almost didn't make it. You should have seen me out there. It's- it's not what it looks like. Ah! Ah! Really? We good? You good? Quiet. Now the real question is, did I get enough stuff to make bow and arrow? Yes! Yes! That is so freaking cool. Do I have any arrows? I gotta make the arrows! Well, okay. That's still really cool. Oh, samurai sword? I just want an arrow. I want to test this really bad. Well, one day I will be able to use this. For now, it'll sit there. Do I look sweaty? Cause I feel sweaty. <laughs> I will say that VR gaming right now is a really good idea for two reasons. One, you can pretend that you're outside of the house. <laughs> you can pretend that isolation isn't a thing, but also it gets you up and it gets you moving. And we're at the point with VR games where we can actually dive into these full length video games with stories and full world building and things like crafting. And it's actually fun. It's not some hour long demo. And Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, if you haven't played it, again, it's out, to, well, it's out now on PlayStation VR. And it's also other places, but... If you have PlayStation VR, check it out. But if you liked whatever this ended up looking like, uh, let me know. Um, I'll happily do a part two, even if it's not sponsored, just because I had a lot of fun. Thanks again, Walking Dead, for sponsoring. Thank you guys for watching. I am gonna go shower and lie down. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.